Join us on December 10th for our Thank Miss live stream where we're raising money for World Central Kitchen who provides fresh meals to people suffering from disasters all over the world. They are much better people than me. And little Petey and Molly are going to play Sonic Frontiers. It'll be so much fun. So join us this Saturday, December 10th. Tell everyone you know and come and join us. It'll be fun. Don't miss it! Cat Kid Comic Club. Collaborations by Dave Pilkey. Cat Kid is copyright by Dave Pilkey. And it's published by Graphics, an imprint of Scholastic Inc. Last time in the comic club. Hello, I'm on TV. Hooray. Are you guys excited about the new comic club? There's a bee on your face. It's on your nose. <laughs> Off with his head. Can you guys guess what's in my hands? It's nothing. Anyway, I'm getting kind of tired. So are you guys excited about the new book? Yeah, sure. Maybe we'll actually be in this one. And it won't focus so heavily on all these sweaty side characters. Molly, be nice. Hey, daddy, can can we play cowboys and horses? Okay, sure. Hey, I wanted you to be the horse. Hey is for horses. Now go clean your room. Why the heck do I have to clean my room? I don't even have arms. Everyone clean your rooms. But this is called Comic Club and we have comics. <laughs> I am going to be a supportive adult and agree with Flippy on this one. High five, Flippy. Okay, read your stupid comic. This is about daddy. He turned into the Hulk and it's still better than the MCU's version. And then he went to space. That never happened. <laughs> you were trapped in a sombrero. Daddy, were you in the MCU? How the heck do you all fit in there? Okay, it's our turn. Hi, cool. God bless you. Hey, daddy, look, we're already on the roof. <laughs> do you want to smell my microphone? No. What is wrong? Wrong, grape. Everyone thinks I'm a good photographer, but I'm bad. I'm pretty bad too, and I'm a professional. Wow, thanks, grown-up Charlie Brown. Anytime. And what do you have to say, other tiny grape? I'll give you three seconds to take that back before I put the beat down on you. I like to play rock, paper, scissors by myself. I don't know what this is. Weren't you gonna talk about haikus? Look, a bird. Where? Chapter four. Gilbert and Curly heed the call. 45 minutes later. All right, kids. I've checked everybody's rooms and most of you have done a pretty good job. You're all excused until supper time. Ah, all except for Curly and Gilbert. Let's go, boys. I thought you said your rooms were clean. We said mostly clean. How are these rooms mostly clean? Well, the ceilings are clean and all of the walls are clean. Only the floors are messy. So in terms of surface area, the floors are just a small percent of the- I want those rooms cleaned up now! But daddy, we get distracted. Yeah, we try to clean our rooms, but we always end up drawing or making comics. Alas, our hearts long to clean, but our souls must heed the call of creativity. Oh, really? Well, that's too bad. I'm tired of your excuses, so I'll give you two choices. You can either clean your rooms with a good attitude or with a bad attitude. It's up to you. Oh, really? Okay, I choose a bad attitude. Right! Uh, uh, uh. I am Frogzilla! Come here, you puny crayon! <laughs> How dare you defy me! Hello, please, somebody help me! Into the box you go! <laughs> no, not the box, no! Where's my next victim? No, please, please! Oh, uh hi! -huh. You thought you could hide? <laughs> You can't hide from Frogzilla. No. Hey, Gilbert. What? Frogzilla is a really good idea for a comic. Write it down, write Ooh. it down. Sweet. Sweet. Let's get started. Ah. Okay. One time a frog swam in some nuclear waste. Suddenly he began to grow and grow. Hey, and Daddy. Grow. Are those guys done yet? The comic club is having a big meeting. We're making a new comic, Molly. It's called Frogzilla. I bet you'll never guess what it's all about. Um, is it about a giant radioactive frog who destroys a city? Hey, 
Why? How did you guess? It sounds just like Godzilla. You can't just steal someone else's idea. We, we didn't. didn't. You did too. Stealing is against the law, you guys. Molly's right. You can't take somebody else's idea. Oh, oh man. man. But you can make a parody. What's, What's a, a parody? parody? A parody is a humorous version of somebody else's idea. Oh. oh. Are you saying we can't copy Godzilla, but we can make fun of Godzilla? Yep, that's totally legal. Let's, Let's make, make a parody. parody! Chapter 5. The parody that relied heavily on the fair use defense to forestall any liability for copyright infringement. Well, folks, the sun has set and today's drama has slipped peacefully away. And now it's Saturday, a day of hope and graceful new beginnings. You kids get out of the bed <laughs> right now! The comic oh. club doesn't meet on the weekends. Yet all of these kids continue to be creative. After a oh. hearty breakfast, chores, and independent reading, Curly and Gilbert are busy putting the finishing touches on their latest collaboration. We're almost done! Gilbert's just coloring the last two pages. While we wait, I need to ask, what's that sign all about? Oh, that's to remind us. To remind you to fail? No, to remind us not to be scared of failing. You see, we make tons of mistakes. And this reminds us that mistakes are just part of the game. Yeah, mistakes can be fixed. Oh, you misspelled miserably. Yeah, we know. Okay, the color is all finished. Now we put the pages in order, staple them, <coughs> and it's ready to devour. Frogzilla, a parody by Gilbert and Curly. One time at school, Felix and Drax, pew, 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 stop wasting time. We're not wasting time. Pew, pew, pew. This video game teaches valuable life skills. Pew, kaboom, pew. Grr. Quick, smash the evil bunny. Pow. Oh, give me that phone. Oh, man, what a rip. You boys need to do your science project. Here, dissect this frog. No fair, weak. Why do we always have to do stuff? Yeah, but then, hey, what? We're frogs, so why are we dissecting a frog? Hey, I object on moral grounds. I object on weirdness grounds. Okay, if you refuse to do your work, then you can stay after school and clean up the science lab. Bogus, I'm calling the cops. And so, man, I hate cleaning up the science lab. Me too. Sweep, sweep, sweep. What should we do with this dead frog? Just throw it away. I have no problem with that. Clunk. Hey, what should we do with this growth formula? Toss it. Glug, glug, glug. And what about this dangerous atomic waste? Bye-bye. So wish. Two points. Now let's get back to our game. Pew, 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 pew. My turn. Pew, 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 pew. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Pew, pew, pew. Glub, glub, glub. Suddenly, from the depths of the trash can, the DNA of a forgotten frog morphed with toxic radioactive goo to create life. Pew, 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 pew. Grr. My turn again. Pew, 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 pew. Grr. Get those evil baby ducks over there. I'm trying. Pew, pew. Grr. Hurry. Your health meter is running low. I know. Pew, pew, pew. Grr. Roar. Hey, do you mind? We're trying to play a game. Crash! There goes the school. Hey, Frogzilla just destroyed, just destroyed the school. Oh, and it made me lose all my lives. Pow! How rude! That was an important game. Crush. I know, we almost reached level nine. How can anybody be so selfish? Frogzilla must be stopped before he ruins someone else's video game. Beep, beep, boop, beep. What are you doing? I'm calling the cops. 
for real this time. Beep boop. Soon. Ring ring. Sup. What? He did. We're on our way. Come on, dog man. Frogzilla messed up some kid's video game. We need those jets. No way. But he was almost level nine. Oh, and so, zoom, zoom. Okay, dog man, are you ready? Salute. Everyone is counting on us. So let's try our best not to make any mistakes. Chomp, gulp. Oh no, Frogzilla just swallowed Chief and Dog Man. Weak, bummer. It looks like it's up to you, Felix and Jax. You must save the world from Frogzilla. Oh man, what a rip. Will Felix and Jax save the world? Can they rescue Dogman and Chief? And when will they ever reach level 9? Pew pew pew! Find out in our next thrilling parody, Frogzilla vs. Mecha Frogzilla. Wow, that was awesome! Thanks. Thanks! I can't believe you made this in one day. Well, it was a lot of work. Yeah, when we started writing, our story wasn't very good. So we rewrote it two times, and each time it got better and better. So you failed miserably at first. Yep. yep, but we never gave up. If you want to be a good writer, you've got to have the courage to be a bad writer. Chapter 6, Business Partners. Yes, I understand. Hey, Daddy. Daddy. But what about hey, Daddy, Section 3, Daddy, Article 5? Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Hey, Daddy, can I talk to her? Please, Daddy, it's really, really important. I need to talk to her, too. Seriously. Just put her on speaker, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, 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 Daddy. Daddy, 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 Daddy. Can you please put her on quick. speaker so we can all talk? Hey, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Can I call you right back? Boop. Get out of my office now! You heard the man, Melvin. Off you go. Uh, you too, Naomi. But Daddy, I'm the director. And I'm the agent. We, we have, have duties, duties and, and responsibilities. responsibilities. Get out now! But Daddy... Five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one... <laughs> well, what did the publisher lady say? We don't know. Daddy won't even let us talk to her. It doesn't make any sense. Daddy wants us to be responsible. But when we try to be, he won't let us. <laughs> How am I supposed to figure out my purpose if I never get any responsibilities? I know! All we wanted to do was be responsible! <laughs> Naomi and Melvin feel like they've taken a back seat to their responsibilities! Will Flippy ever let them talk to the publisher lady? And will Naomi and Melvin just get over it already? We'll just have to wait and see on the next episode of... Cat Kid Comic Club! Well, that was fan flippity doo dotastic. Seems like everyone's getting a little antsy about their published product. Well, if you're enjoying this book, click the link down in the description below and you can get it for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video. And we'll see you again soon. Goodbye!